I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. Here's the man who was a scoring machine last week, finishing with three rushing touchdowns in their win. Hard to imagine he'll be able to duplicate that performance in this one, but he'll give it a shot. It's the Bengals going up against the Packers. continually operating stadium in the NFL as you get a look inside Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. No team means more to a city than the Packers to Green Bay and this was the scene a few moments ago as the green and gold made their way out of the historic tunnel. They're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Cincinnati Bengals. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Packer team as we interplay here. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the Bengals here, Dalton now to pass. It's been a great start to the season, back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go, but they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. Unfortunately, Packers fans, they saw a lot of completions like that last year when they were number 31 in the league in passing defense. Now, I know injuries had something to do with that, but that's, that's a shift they're looking to run. They have to, because what they do so well on offense, in some ways they're wasting by allowing what they're allowing on defense. So now you change things up. Do you play a little more zone where in the past you might have played man-to-man? -man? Do you back off of some of the schemes that you played before and emphasize something new? Bottom line, though, they've got to cover tighter and knock away a few of those passes downfield. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. See if they stay on the ground for second down. as they run the counter play. It's a loss of two, now third down. And as a first rounder, a lot of eyes on him, a lot of expectations. And he has to play well in his rookie year. Those days of coddling guys and bringing them along slowly, those days are long gone. When you're drafted in the first round, they expect you to play right away in the community's eyes. And, and he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Tyler Eifert, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bengals are going to take a first quarter lead. Cincinnati score. A great play there with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Bengals strike quickly here for six points. Brandon, my man, just one. Crosby on now to kick it away. This one taken from the seven. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Now this Bengals offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And yeah, we'll see how determined they are. Call it about a gain of three, and they'll be looking at a third and seven coming up. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action hit them over the top. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. Well, I'd say we're well past the time when we're trying to work out the kinks of the season, aren't we? We're already into week three, and he's looking really, really strong. Already has won an AFC Player of the Week award. Yeah, did that a week ago in week two with runs like that and then so. 
And he'll give it here to his running back. And another juke. It's a foot race. Past the 20. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. A great effort there with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Bengals add on to their lead. And a pair of rushing touchdowns now for him in the first quarter. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from his big guys up front because they're winning the leverage game. How many times have we talk about? Crosby on now to kick it away. This one taken from the seven. A little juke. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. A reminder coming up in the Sunday night game, matchup you don't see very often, a rematch of Super Bowl 18. The Raiders traveling to Washington. And then tomorrow on Monday night, we'll see the Cowboys heading to the desert to take on the Cardinals. Former NFC East rivals. A gain of six there on first. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about it, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time. And he's into the clear. The 20. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. A big play there way to a monster game three first half touchdowns and the Bengals are able to grow their lead this is becoming quite the half he's had here remember in our pregame meetings they talked about wanting to run the football and staying with it Cincinnati now ready to take the field they are just putting things together so well here drive after drive they really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give them a jersey, <laughs> but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. It's second down, Dalton looking. He almost had it. The big D lineman nearly had an interception. Instead, it falls down incomplete. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Oh, nice move. <laughs> And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Just about every coach we talk to says the crowd shouldn't affect us. That shouldn't be an issue. And then the next breath, they talk about taking the crowd and taking them out of the game by picking up first downs and keeping them at bay. I think we just saw an example of that there, didn't we? Important to do, especially early in the game like they have. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That yeah, came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Going to give this time to the tailback. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to lead to a third and 11. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Lambeau following these words. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And now a timeout coming for the defensive side. Now on to kick it away, the rookie from Miami, Justin Vogel, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And it's taken in at the nine. Oh, able to avoid him. Jutes by again. Great blocking nearly sprung him there. 28-yard return. And the Bengals take possession. Now a play fake here on first down. 
This one grabbed by A.J. Green. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A bagel first down on the 16-yard pickup there. You think about the great tandems that we've had this decade in the NFL. Think about Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, Big Ben, Antonio Brown, Brady, and Gronk. But look, Andy Dalton and A.J. Green, they have to rank in there, don't they? Yeah, and two guys that came from the same draft class. A.J. Green in the first round, Andy Dalton in the second round. And what they've meant to the Cincinnati Bengals franchise has been everything. A lot of playoff appearances. So Dalton now. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Call it a pickup of seven, and that's going to bring up a third down. Got to like what we're seeing from him so far in this game. This is the third game of the season, and he's already accumulated an AFC Offensive Player of the Week award in this young year. Yeah, week two was his. The announcement came Wednesday that he got that award. Now Dalton. He sets to fire deep. That's going to be caught by Ross for a Bengal touchdown. Coach talk about those late in the half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those. Good job, Good job. Crosby on now to kick it away. This one taken just inside the 10. They juked him. Take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. On second down, they'll try and run the counter. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Losing two yards that time, and now it's four. on now to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went in at halftime, made a few. There he goes, left side. And for a Cincinnati score. A great play there. 68 yards. And the Bengals add on to their lead. Crosby on now to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. Nifty move. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. They'll run it now out of the gun. Bulldozes past him. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle. It's the Bengals in possession of the football and in possession of the lead as well as we start the fourth. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. 
Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive linemen said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. Stop shy of the 45 despite some powerful running. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. Two yards the game there, and now they're left with a third and about four for a first. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. Got a man, it's Ross complete. And he'll be knocked down sideways at the 41-yard line. And he'll get 14 on that one. Good for a bangle first down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him onto the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Dalton throwing on second down. Caught Eifert over the middle. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Dalton to his big target, Eifert, for the Cincinnati first. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. They go play action here on first down. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Nick Perry. Coming hard on the blitz, he dumps him for a loss of eight. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. And a short game down to about the 33. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Third and long. What will Dalton dial up? He's going to wind up and air it out. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. Two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand seam. And that should just about put a camper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't it? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. No, oh, a heck of a move. Man. And now running right through it. And he's brought down. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. So it'll be first down here after the run. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he bowls his way into the end zone for a Bengal touchdown. A great effort there. Taking it in from four yards out. And the Bengals are able to grow their lead. Now it's looking incredibly likely to be a 3-0 start to this season. That is obviously excellent. 2-0 is one thing. 3-0, you really have some momentum. And now they're serving notice to the rest of the league that they're a pretty darn good football team. Confident, aggressive, 
attacking at all times. This looks like a team that you're going to have to deal with. And guess what? Behind closed doors, they're trying to figure out ways to get better. They're going to try and run. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. So they kept it on the ground, got it into the end zone. Charles... from Nashville, and it was the Seahawks who were able to take home the victory there. Russell Wilson, a touchdown pass to help lead the way. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory, and the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week, we'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points, allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow.